Halo Infinite took quite some time to get to what many would call a reasonable state for a AAA game. It took them well over a year to get enough content into the game that people thought, yeah, this might actually be worth playing now. And as the seasons have progressed, 343 has added more content, more maps, a couple new equipment items, and so on and so forth. The game of Halo Infinite now is amazing, I would say, at least in most regards. The armor customization is really thorough, and there's a lot of different options. There's enough game modes to hold somebody over, and especially with the recent addition of Firefight, those who don't want a strictly PvP experience have something else to grasp onto aside from just the campaign. But with the most recent content update for Halo Infinite, it seems like 343 is really just squashing all the goodwill that they've built up over the past couple years. You see, Halo Infinite was going with the modern Battle Pass system, where every couple months a new Battle Pass would come out, coinciding with a new season. This Battle Pass would have 100 tiers, and you'd be able to work your way through it to unlock new cosmetics and upgrades for your Spartan. But they've decided to do away with that in favor of Operations. Now, Operations are nothing new in Halo Infinite, they've actually been around for quite a while, but they usually released in the middle of a season to kind of coincide with a new event. It was usually a 20 to 30 tier battle pass that you'd be able to complete mid-season and unlock even more cool rewards, outside of just the normal battle pass. But now, the Operations are all we're gonna have, so it seems, for the foreseeable future. The last Battle Pass was Season 5, and there is no Season 6 Battle Pass. As of Content Update 29, Spirit of Fire is the most recent operation, and the most recent thing that you can work on to unlock items for your Spartan. Now why does this seem like such a big issue? The issue arises from how these operations work, or at least how they differ from a traditional Battle Pass. You see, from Season 2 through 5 of Halo Infinite, if you purchase the premium tiers of the Battle Pass, you would unlock enough premium credits in order to make your money back. So if it costs you a thousand credits to get into the premium tiers, so long as you finish the Battle Pass, you would get a thousand credits back. That's not the case with these operations. Now all of the items in these operations, at least right now, are free. The Spirit of Fire operation is 20 tiers, you can get every item in there, aside from one, just by playing the game and doing your challenges. The one thing you can't get is a weapon model, which looks like the original Combat Evolved AR. The only way to get that weapon model is by spending $5 on the premium version of this battle pass, essentially. All you get extra is going to be that Combat Evolved AR, and if it takes you longer than the allotted time, let's say it's a 35 day operation, if it takes you longer than 35 days, you still have access to the operation, you're able to unlock the items whenever. There's no way to get any premium currency outside of Season 2 through 5's Battle Pass. Season 1 didn't have any credits at all in them, and none of these operations have any credits in them at all. So you can spend $5 and you're not going to get anything back in terms of premium currency. And that's where the issue is going to arise from this, because it feels like what 343 did is take all the items that they could have put in a battle pass for what should have been Season 6, and they said, let's just throw that all in the shop, so that way people can buy them, as opposed to earn them in-game. If you look at the shop for this new Operation Spirit of Fire, there is a ton of items in them, and again, a lot of them are cool, but they're locked behind this massive paywall. A lot of the items in Halo Infinite's store are not cheap, I mean... A single armor set can run you a bare minimum of 1,600 credits. The bundle for Omega Team is 3,800 credits. If you have no credits in this game, you either have to buy the $18 bundle twice or the $45 bundle once to get enough credits in order to obtain this bundle if that's really what you want to get. All of these items that are in the shop feel like they could have been in the Battle Pass for what should be Season 6, but instead, 343 said, no, we're going to get rid of that, we're going to give you these operations, which are smaller in length and quicker to unlock, but you're still going to have some items in there that you can get. You have the option of purchasing the premium version, which nets you next to nothing, essentially. You get one cool new item and the ability to unlock these items if you miss out on the time frame. But we're going to put everything else in the shop. Everything is just going to be absurdly expensive, and there's going to be the people that buy them. Clearly, the reason that this decision is being made is because they know people will purchase the items in the shop, especially if they're that heavily sought after. 
let's say Halo 3 Hayabusa armor comes into Halo Infinite. You know how many people are going to want that armor piece? You know what they'll probably do? They'll probably put it in the shop because they know if they can put a $20 price tag on that, that a lot of people are going to buy it as opposed to it just being in a battle pass. If it was in a battle pass, great, I'm going to grind to unlock that. But the fact that it's in the shop means the people who really want that, they're going to prey on the nostalgia, people are going to buy it. 343 has done a lot of good with Halo Infinite. There's a lot of new content. Firefight's amazing. I really like the campaign, though that is a separate price to entry. I love the gameplay of Halo Infinite. But the way that these content updates are going to be rolling out now, instead of battle passes, we're going to get operations with no way to earn any premium currency for free. It seems like we're just taking one step forward and two steps back. With every good thing that Halo Infinite does... They do something so dumb that we're just actively moving backwards in terms of where this community should be going. I don't see this as a positive change for Halo Infinite. Hopefully they prove me wrong, and hopefully 343 can at least implement some better changes, ways to get premium currency, or just revert this in its entirety. It just feels like they're kind of jumping ship here. Like they're saying, this is what we're going to be doing now, go buy stuff in the store. Again, hopefully I can be proven wrong in the future, but as it stands right now, the monetization system in Halo Infinite is really taking a turn for the worse. It's not a game I see myself spending any more money on. I've paid my dues for the battle passes, I'll get my premium currency from that, otherwise I don't see myself spending money on this store. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. You still playing Halo Infinite? How do you feel about this new change? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates! Yeah.